Hello friends, welcome back to my part 2 tutorial of conversion of 2D drawings into 3D. In past first part, uh, I've created a wall, simple plan was there, I've created a wall and I've created a, a table and a chair. Now I'll be moving towards uh, assigning some materials and lights. So let's get started. I'll go in southeast isometric and the view is some how is this? So, wow. <laughs> so, I'll select my table. Furniture. Furniture, I'll say current, right click, I'll say invert. Select it. Now, oh, what happened? Fine, I don't want, it will be locked. It will be locked will be locked locked and the only thing will move the furniture I'll say move and keep it over here now it's done and somehow we have not managed it okay it's all fine and the table we will move to this part I'm not sure I'll go to top view and see uh oh let's say move and yeah fine and I'll go to view tab and here is render setting and here is materials I'll click on material I'm very familiar with uh, 3D Max material, but I'm I'm not uh, familiar with AutoCAD material. But uh, past uh, so many months I was working in AutoCAD, so uh, it it is very easy to understand uh, as of with Max material because it's very simple layout uh, is there in AutoCAD materials. I'll just make new material. It will call the wall. Again, I'll take new material. I'll say hmm, <clears throat> fabric fabric and one by one I'll make it and it's for fall I want slightly off white like this and I'll go to back to my layer I'll will unhide I don't know right now I just don't want I want it unlock it the wall and I'll switch back to my southeast isometric and I'll switch to concept and to assign materials either you select this thing and assign material to object or generally I do drag and drop on this thing and if you go and click on realistic it will show you the result but to work on don't work on realistic if your PC is strong absolutely you can but mine is not so strong so I will be working on concept so for this part I will be giving the fabric texture fabric uh, map fabric I'll select texture map I'll select the image these are the fabrics say this fabric so I'll drag and drop on 
this one and I'll go again I'll check it has been applied I'll select this one and I'll go to view uh, it is on visualize and I'll go this is uh, the texture is not proper even now I can click on here now with tiling is there and top one should like this like this Fine. and switch back to my concept again I'll take one more I'll say fab 2 and I'll select my image texture number 2 assign to this assign to this so same thing I can mirror on second part second chair now I want more material I'll say GLASS class and you can define from here what you want or or there are so many options over here or you can choose it right from here uh, say class translucent I will on apply this thing on my class and I'll take one more material I'll say chrome or you can say metal and I'll say mm, say realistic metal I'll drag and drop over here like this just make sure it has been applied and I'll go back to my top view I'll select this one don't want see M I see midpoint stun now to this I say again new material I say flooring flooring and I'll go and select the image of wooden texture say Say R E C. First, I'll count from my layer flooring. So R E C from here to here. I'll go to 
south east and I'll again go to shaded view and I'll go to material palette why it is not showing me uh oh I was into conceptual now it's fine now we will work on the we will work on lighting and I'll go to my render setting in sun properties and status will be on turn off default lighting recommended yes I'll say this one status should be on so go to visualize sky background with illumination I'll say default light Oh, sorry, default light not. I will, I will take a spot. Right now, I'll off, just off this one. It is too heavy for my PC. Spot. Press F8 or two. left spot so layer okay fine Show fine. I'll say it's sun status. This we can change it the sun timings and I'll say with illumination and I'll go back to my view render setting. Sh shadow will be simple and mode is automatic is fine and medium is also fine if you want really realistic so go for presentation I'll go for medium right now and I'll just check this one how it's behaving and make this render from here This is the output, and uh, fine. Uh, we will have to work a little bit about on shadows. Render shadow samples. Will be say twelve, and don't want softness. And I'll again, I'll do the rendering. Uh, 
por 6. I'll pause uh, my tutorial for a this is what the output it is and it is little bit um, uh, smarter than previous thing because it's showing nice uh, global illumination and if you work more on this thing we can get very nice effect without having any 3d software with us that is only on autocad so um, this was the tutorial for uh, for today and uh, if you like my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and uh, if you want more tutorial just do let me know on my channel uh, I'll, I'll make my priority and i'll do that tutorial for you and uh, if you have any doubts do let me know for thanks for watching my tutorial and thank you